Hello everyone, for this video I would like to introduce you to the Arduino Nano 33 Sense board. In this video I will show you what would you normally do when you're building your first project with an Arduino board. There are many nice guides out there but it is always helpful to have someone doing it along with you, especially for beginners. What really caught my eye on this board is the great variety of sensors contained. That is the 9-axis inertial sensor, the humidity sensor, the temperature sensor, or even the proximity sensor and more. Another special feature of the SANS 33 board is the capability of running machine learning models using Tarsenfall. It is very useful for a smart application. It is also equipped with a Bluetooth Low Energy model, making it ideal for IoT implementations. The first thing we will need to do is to install the Arduino IDE software, which is obtained by going to the official website. On the website, there is a special section for getting started. There you will find the direct link for downloading the program. In my case, it, I will install the program in a Linux operating system. For Windows, uh, the steps should be simpler as you just download the executable file and follow the instructions. Once the download is over, we can go to the directory where the file is located and proceed to uncompress it. This will create a new directory. In there, we will find an installation shell script. We run this script to install the program. If you install the program with sudo, you should also run the Arduino Linux setup script after the installation with your username. Otherwise, you will have problems communicating with the board. If you prefer, you can also use Arduino Web Editor instead of installing the, the program on your computer. You can find the link to it in the Getting Started section of the official website. Now our program is installed. But before programming our board, we need to install libraries that are specific for the sense board. We can do this by going to the Boards Manager from the Tools tab. This will open a new window with a search box. We can type there nano33ble and proceed to click on Install. With the libraries installed, we can now connect the sensor board to the computer using a USB cable. Before loading any sketch, remember to select the Sense 33 board from the tool menu. The board should be automatically detected, but be sure to double check it. Now that we have everything in place, let's try a simple example already available from the file menu. The Blink program, which will turn continuously on and off the LED located on the board. By default, this process is done every second, but let's make it a little bit faster by modifying the delay on the load function. By clicking on the Verify button, the Arduino program will compile the program, but it will not upload the binaries to the board. By clicking on the Upload program, these two previous actions are performed consecutively. Now that we verified the correct functioning of the board, we can turn a bit more interesting program. The code on the left is a simple example of a sending hello world message when a device makes a connection with the Sense 33 board through Bluetooth LE. For this purpose, the Arduino will serve as the peripheral device and my smartphone on the right as the central device by using the application NRF Connect.
I will leave you below the link where you can get the code I use in this example along with an interesting reading about Bluetooth LE in case you're not familiar with it. Also, make sure to install the Arduino BLE libraries with the Managing Libraries tool that I showed you before in this video. And that is all for this short introduction for the first time using the Arduino 33 sensor board. I hope it was useful for you.